Since 9-11, uh, the effects of the uh, toxic exposure of the, um, uh, the, the toxins themselves, the micronized concrete, um, uh, just the general fumes and all the, the nasty stuff that the uh, responders were uh, exposed to has um, created a lot of uh, effects that we're starting to see now and starting to see in increased numbers. Uh, essentially, we had very healthy men and women uh, both uh, police, fire, uh, other first responders, uh, uh, volunteers, um, construction workers who went down to give their all and to help their fellow Americans uh, to recover from this and to be rescued. Uh, but we're starting to see now what we've grown to call a World Trade Center cough. This is generally a cough that's characterized as a hacking cough, sometimes productive, uh, that uh, generally no one has had prior to 9-11. And the, the thing now is that we must address the fact that these patients may have been cough-free for two to three years after 9-11, but are starting to see the effect now. So for those who really were healthy and didn't have a cough other than maybe a cold or a bronchitis during the winter, if they're starting to get coughs that generally don't resolve within a week or two, that are hacking, that are worse during... Uh, the afternoon hours, um, you really should see your healthcare professional. Um, most of the time we find that it is um, something that is easily curable, but for those who truly have the World Trade Center cough, it is a, a long road. Generally, we diagnose World Trade Center cough with uh, pulmonary function tests, uh, chest x-rays, and of course a combination of a thorough history uh, and a complete physical. Uh, treatment includes, at this point, long-acting uh, beta agonists. And for those of you who are asthmatics, drugs such as uh, Advair. And, of course, Advair has um, a steroid in it. Other drugs such as Foradil, uh, inhaled corticosteroids, Flovent, uh, Pulmacord, Asmonex, different things. In other words, things to open up the lungs and things that would... Uh, of course, calm down the inflammation in the lungs. Also, we are dealing with uh, medications such uh, anticholinergic medicines such as uh, Atrovent or uh, the newer drug Spariva, which we've had great success with in uh, treating 9-11 cough. There are also other uh, classes of medications called leukotriene modifiers, which basically um, help keep the lungs open. They're used in allergy and asthma. And the thing with the the World Trade Center cough is that it doesn't truly fit into any one uh, diagnosis. Uh, initially, we thought it was a variant of asthma, then a variant of COPD, uh, which is emphysema. Then it was a variant of um, the pulmonary fibrosis. Uh, it's, it's somewhere in a gray area between. Some people have attributes of one or all, but all have that same nagging cough. And with these medications, we've been able to uh, give them some of their function back. Uh, we've had very healthy people, as I've said before, who can no longer walk more than, uh, you know, half a block. So if you uh, were down at the dig, if you were in anywhere in the recovery and, um, and rebuilding phase, and you're experiencing cough now, it really should motivate you to go see your physician and uh, ask for these tests. And if you can... Um, go to the World Trade Center, the foundation, um, and, and at least get yourself documented and into their treatment protocol program, uh, at least for the follow-up exams.